and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna do something a bit different mm -hmm. we're gonna go on reddit which is a very new thing for me I've reddit is a idea. rabbit it's hole. a rabbit hole there is on reddit this community post that uh, am i the asshole mm -hmm. some these things are foul oh, some people that have the weirdest lives you're crazy what okay. we're gonna do is just like type korea korean mm -hmm. related stuff about this and we're just gonna choose yeah we just want to see ones. what people have been up to out here yeah like, I want to see your confessions. Let's go. So we can judge. But anyway, without further ado, we will react to Am I the Asshole Korea Edition. Let's go. Go. Am I the Asshole for publicly shaming a friend? She put cool. friend in. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay. I, 21 female, was adopted practically at birth from South Korea. I was raised in the US by a white couple. I grew up knowing nothing about my culture, okay? When I started attending college, Three years ago, I joined a Korean club. It was mostly about learning the language, the culture, and the cuisine. There, I made a female friend, let's call her Anna. Anna is white, but she is super into K-pop and K-dramas. Nothing wrong with that. Then, a year later, I was able to get into contact with my birth family in Korea. I went there for two weeks and met everyone. It was also pure luck that my older male cousin was, also, was, coming, was going to come study in my college. Well, he arrived about a month ago. I introduced him to Anna and she started calling him Oppa. It is a name you use with older male relatives or very close male friends and it has a cultural significance. It basically means that you are either related or very close and that they are more or less responsible for you to an extent. Well, he is shy, not that confident about his English, so he asked me to explain to her gently that she shouldn't call him that, which I did. She would ap apologize, then do it again. I had a private talk with her more than 10 times. <laughs> it was making my cousin very uncomfortable. Shh. So when she did it again yesterday in the party, I just went off on her in public. I can't remember the words I used exactly, but I basically told her that she is not living in a K-drama. My cousin is not her prop to use to live her fantasies, and she's appropriating a culture she neither belongs to nor understands. She burst out crying and left in a hurry, and now people are calling me an asshole for shaming her in public. Am I the asshole? No, you know, you know. I understand that you don't know, but then she tells you ten times. Ten times that you shouldn't do it. That is uncomfortable with you doing this. Stop doing it. What do you want? Like, nah. Then I, I'm, I'm entitled to being pissed at you. So like, not the she is so not the asshole. First of all, again, yeah, ten times is not five. Even five is already a lot too much for you to not get it through your mind. And it means that she's really just as she said living in this fantasy mm. where she's gonna use this word and the girl really explained it well for somebody who's like from the u.s she really understood like her culture very well mm. like after you start speaking korean you know that you cannot call everybody Opa. you cannot do that it's very awkward very mm. weird and people will look at you like ugh, this foreigner is just doing whatever and that's exactly what she's doing she's not the asshole she's fetishizing girl what is wrong with you no yeah. that's a k boo yeah, exactly. It's giving K-boo nah. and you need to stop. Nah. Next case. All right, am I the asshole for not participating in my friend's multicultural wedding? That is a very bad title, let's see. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not starting well. Mm -hmm. One of my boyfriend's best friends is getting married and asked him to serve as a groomsman. Grooms grooms that's a hard word. I know the couple, but not super well. The bride is artsy and a photographer and has specific ideas about the aesthetics she wants for her wedding, especially how she wants it photographed, documented, and a big thing for her is highlighting the diversity. She's Spanish and Argentine, Argentinian, and the groom is Filipino, so they're, bo they're both wearing traditional wedding clothes for, from their cultures. Okay, so far, so good. She reached out to everyone who has an immigrant background and asked us to dress in the traditional clothes of our culture. That's actually That's quite cool. sweet. Mm. So I'm half German, half Korean, born and raised in the US. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have bo I have both a... Uh, well, okay, those are traditional clothes. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And a handbook. I told her I'd be happy to wear my, ha my handbook as I think personally that the other clothing looks kind of hokey. I don't know what that means. I sent her a photo of my handbook and she said it was great. So fast forward a month and she emails me saying that a lot of her friends are going to be wearing Korean clothes and she asked if I would wear my other clothing instead. I agreed, though I warned, I warned her that it was a lot more rustic looking than what she might have in mind for her classy wedding. Big surprise, she agreed, then asked if I could wear an alternative Asian outfit like a kipao style dress instead. 
I barely know anyone on the guest list, but when I sh but when she said a lot of people would be wearing Korean clothes, I got curious and asked her who else was wearing hanbok. She said that she and some friends from college went to Korea to teach English for a semester and all those friends will be wearing them. <laughs> My boyfriend, who is starting to get annoyed too, asked the groom who confirms that the guests wearing Korean clothes are white. I don't want to be difficult, well, <laughs> but I also don't feel right wearing a kipao. I'm not Chinese, let alone Manchu. So when she emailed me again about choosing a dress, I told her that anything but me in a handbook would be a misappropriation and that I'd be happier just wearing regular Western clothes if that was okay with her. That's when she lost it. She wrote a long raving email, a few highlights. I'm only half, so how dare I speak for Korea or Koreans? I look more German anyway. How dare I accuse her of racism and misappropriation? The kippah is regularly worn by everyone, anyone, so me thinking it's offensive is outdated and dumb. It's her wedding, and that, uh, and, I, and that I and my boyfriend should stick to her rules or he would not be allowed to be a groomsman anymore. In light of this, I just don't feel comfortable wearing anything but reg regular wedding clothes. Am I the asshole? Girl, I'm not even going to the wedding. I was gonna say, why are you even trying to go? I'm not even, are you crazy? I'm not even, oh, what the heck? What? <laughs> like people, is this real? Because people is... really go far in these things. What are you talking about? I am sure that in the mind of the bride, it's like, it actually makes sense. You know what I mean? She's like, yeah, of course we're gonna wear humble because we teach, we taught we English, taught English for, like... for six months. Uh -huh. Okay, we've been here for four years. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> that is insane. If this is the case, me personally, I'm not going to. I'm not going. I received the email. I'm like, okay, bye. Bah. Bah. The hell. Yeah. <laughs> Am I the asshole for kicking out a friend even though I told her she could stay with me during a visit? Again, not a great title. But the other one also was the title a bit misleading, and she was not the asshole. So anyway. Uh, English is not my first language, so the story is a few months old, but it came up again in a conversation with friends recently, and the opinions are mixed. I, female 28, live in Korea. I don't know if it matters, but I'm not Korean, I'm from Europe. And my friend, female 27, from Taiwan, contacted me telling me she's planning to visit the country, and if she can stay at my place for the duration of her visit, one week. First of all, <laughs> first of all, if you let like it doesn't like it's different if it's like a really 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 close friend but me personally the type of person i am um yeah you're gonna go to a hotel what is wrong with you i was okay with it since i live alone and i have space she doesn't care that's a bit i have space too i still care <laughs> she, she doesn't i don't like want people, people in my space. house anyway. i do not like people in my house anyways anyway ah, it turns out it is a nightmare to host her the first thing she did when she arrived at my place was to tell me she didn't bring many clothes and asked me to let her go to my closet to pick out a few outfits she could borrow for a few days. No. I was like, no. <laughs> she was See, like, I was like, no. This is why. But she kept begging me to at least lend her a skirt because she wants to have pretty pics and I di and didn't bring a skirt. In the end, I gave her a skirt I don't use anymore. So that day later in the evening, this was a Wednesday, she headed out to meet some friends Well, she didn't return before I went to sleep at 11ish So I assume she's staying the night with them Well, at 4am in the morning, she returns but here in Korea we have electric keypads to open the door And she kept putting in the wrong code And since the door wouldn't open, she started ringing the bell, I would kill you Turns out she went clubbing, got drunk and forgot the entrance code <laughs> Then she proceeded to cry through the night because the guy she was dancing with didn't take her home like he promised, promised to I was exhausted and pissed because I had work the next morning. I will destroy you today. <laughs> After I returned home the next day, I sat down with her and let her know that she, if, she's do, if she's going to behave like this for the rest of her stay, she can't stay with me any longer. She promised this was one time thing and apologized. However, she did the same the next day and I ended up kicking her, kicking her out despite her pleading not to do that because then she would have to use all her money on accommodation and can't have fun. I was tired and felt that she would continue doing this for the rest of the week, so I didn't care and just told her to go. Some friends are saying that she was alone in a foreign country and what I did was an asshole move, but what do you think? Relax. See, I'm conflicted. Because in, on one part, the problem is on the girl, the, the Taiwanese girl coming here. She's crazy. Like, what the fuck is this? But, would I kick out a friend? I don't think so. That's not her friend. She, she described her as a friend. I don't care what she described. If she behaves like this, that is not a friend. I would be, me personally, knowing myself, I would just be pissed for a week. 
But you wouldn't say anything. No, I, 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 I won't. That's what I'm saying. I would be pissed myself, but I would, I would ask her once. Don't you want to get a, a hotel? If he tells me no, I, I don't have any money, then I'm like, stop, okay. And then I will be sad for a week, <laughs> like annoyed for a week, but I won't kick her out. Let me but she's not the asshole in my opinion. I just won't do it. She's absolutely not the asshole. And let me tell you something very, very simple. First of all, you need to know who your friends are. If I have a person that I know is a friend, it's a good friend that I have, but I know she's not gonna be, she's gonna be out of control because she wants to come to just go clubbing, get drunk, whatever. Do what's working for you. At least if you're like, I feel like people who are like maybe 25, 22, they don't have the guts to say something. They're really young and everything. But at our age, honey, she's 28 we, and 27. Well, see, the, she should have known no, better I because you age. need to I know okay. what works for you as a grown ass person, especially you work in the morning. If I know that you're going to, nah, first of all, me, I don't, I'm, I told you, I don't like people in my house. I, there are, I can count on my on the number of my hand the people that I would allow to stay with me I already know who they are so I know that one day if they're like hey can I stay with you I'll be like sure because I know these people and I've known them for years but some random friend who's just coming to Korea and you're not even planning that means she never planned to get a hotel she was just like ooh yeah. I'm gonna stay at her place so it'll be cheaper and that's it she didn't think about the person's comfort she didn't even ask hey I'm gonna come out uh, can I write the password down so I don't forget? No, she was just like, ooh, my friend is there, so why would I make an effort? And then she do this, and then she tells you, you apologize, and you do it again? Out. And this is going to end the friendship period, That's because I'm not trusting yeah. you. That's the thing. That's why That's I don't want to do this. I would suffer, but then I end the friendship. I don't talk to you. Me, I don't even but, try um, it, because I already know who I am as a person. I like how I want to live. If I know it's going to destroy our friendship, I'm telling you, hey, I think it's best that you get this hotel. I can even help you get it. It's fine, but you're not staying in my place. Mm -mm. But definitely not the asshole. She's not the asshole. No. Oh, this person is crazy, crazy, and I know somebody just like her. What? Yeah. Am I the asshole for wearing traditional Chinese clothing to a traditional Korean wedding? All right, okay. let's see. <laughs> for a little background, I am a 15-year-old female who was born to a Chinese mother. Oh wow. Her oh, wow. mother is 29, and the Korean father is 31. Okay. They got a divorce when I was a baby. I often visit Korea to see my father. He got married a few weeks ago to his new wife, Ion, 30 female. Their wedding was in Korea and I flew there to attend. Beforehand, I asked my dad if I could wear traditional Chinese clothing. I, uh, he said, go for it. On the day of the wedding, I was sitting with my dad's family on the front rows where Ion walked down the aisle. She just lost it when she saw me. She said I was taking the attention away from her and if I was going to come, I needed to wear traditional Korean clothing. I ended up yelling at her, telling her that my dad gave me permission to wear it. She ended up kicking me out. Now I have a lot of cousins from my dad's side sending, horrible, sending me horrible messages about how I ruined the wedding. I feel really shitty about it, but I got permission, so am I the asshole? Edit, I wasn't very specific in the beginning. I was raised in a Chinese household and around Chinese culture. I never really got to experience Korean culture until I was about 14. And I only asked to wear traditional clothing, Chinese clothing, before I felt awkward wearing the dress I wanted me to wear. I don't even know what to say. First of all, the dad made the mistake here. You cannot say it's okay when it's clearly not okay for your wife. Did you even ask? Did you? Uh, yeah, probably not. He didn't care. So the dad is the main problem here. Now, I don't even know. I, I, I don't know why she. Okay, let's split it. First, why would you want to wear? I know you're half Chinese, but you're only half Chinese. But she's been raised in China. But it's one day. It's just an event. That's what I'm saying. If why would you day. want to wear? Out of all things, a traditional Chinese outfit when you're just going to a wedding yeah. in Korea yeah. with two Korean people getting married. You have one nothing to do your with dad. your mom's family. <laughs> yeah. So why? Like, nah. So that's one. And second, you asked your dad. He didn't ask her his future wife. And then third, why is the wife worried about getting the attention so from her? She's the like bride. That. I don't like that. You're taking to a 15 year old child. You're taking the attention yeah. away from me on my wedding. This is like trash. if she had been upset, I was expecting it to be for another reason, not this. Oh, you're taking the attention. What? Honey, you're 29. What? She's 30. Oh my God. You Girl, you need to grow up. So everybody has a problem here. Because there is no reason why you would want to wear this outfit specifically. Your dad is an idiot for not asking. And then the bride is a complete Everybody child. Everyone is the asshole. There is an option. Like Everyone is the, the asshole. asshole. Am I the asshole for asking friends to not speak Korean? 
Okay, I know what you think. <laughs> like the beginning, like, wait, wait. Hear me out. You're so racist. They should be able to speak their own language without harassment. Well, the problem is that it isn't their own language. First of all, what's the context? So for a little backstory, Thank five you. of my friends recently got really into K-pop and K-drama, which is fine, but one thing annoys me, them listening to K-pop literally just means listening to BTS, okay, the K-pop boy group, uh, it's the, eh? it the, the only thing uh, It's the only thing they talk about, and recently they started to try to learn to speak Korean, which is fine, I guess, me also being Korean, oh, she's, co oh, um, me also being Korean helped them at their request and gave them textbook I had for them to learn it well. A little after this, we were actually doing it pretty well and were able to hold simple conversations such as good morning, how are you doing, what are you doing later, etc. They started calling me Oppa. Ah, he's a guy? <laughs> Brother in Korean. And then when I corrected them and said that they were using the wrong word, me being, you know, a girl and not a brother. <laughs> They would roll their eyes and say that I'm being too serious. Yikes! Okay. Well, if they're going to move to and live in Korea, like they say all the time, I'm gonna have two at the rate they are. Huh? I'm gonna have two at the rate they are. Ah, to be serious, I guess. Okay. Since like last week, they've been sexualizing the language, people, and also teaching people incorrect Korean. Both of which is really wrong, you know. <laughs> Because of this, I asked them to not do that, but they ignored me and kept doing it. After that, they kept doing it. <laughs> and I asked them to start speaking Korean because what they are doing with it and kind of abusing it, if that makes sense. Bad wording, sorry, yes. One of them called me racist because she's black and I'm not alone to, allowed to do that? Yeah. FYI, there, there's five of them. One is black, one is Mexican, and the rest are white. I asked my other friends about this, and they are div divided. Some say I went too far with it, and I should just let them do it. And some are saying I'm in the right. Am I the asshole? What? What the heck? And don't pull out the racist card for this kind of bullshit. My sister, like, what is please, that? really? Yes. I beg of you, really? Why would you pull out the ra the race card? Like, we're nah. You're dumb. You are dumb and you are a Korea boo. You're calling Let me tell you this. Opa, she's a girl. Like, a oh, girl? Oh. That means you don't even know the definition oh. of this, but you're like, I will speak Korean by force. That's what you're saying. That is awkward as hell. I feel embarrassed for them. First of all, unfriend these people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> unfriend oh, them. Did she, say? she didn't say. They must be young. Unfriend these people right away because they are here to, to use you and to use you as a Korean token friend. Can they say bad things so she's Korean. So you mean to tell me that she's teaching you the language and she's telling you you're using it wrong? Oh my god, you're she's racist. Like, no, you're wrong. Shut up, you're racist. You can't tell me that. What? I want to rip my wig off because y'all are pissing me off. <laughs> not the asshole. That's yeah. there's no question about it. Last but not least. Am I the asshole for wanting my immigrant wife to pay 50% or close to it of expenses, rent, food, internet, phone, etc.? Cal? No. The title? No. From the title? No. But let's see. Let's see. Long story short, my wife were, was living a normal life in Korea, neither rich or poor. We met online, fell in love, and since my studies weren't over, she came to join me here in Canada. The first year or two, she was actually depressed due to living in her country, family, and friends. I paid for over 80% of our mutual expenses. After the first two years, she started to really like it here in Canada and decided to also study here and work at a part-time job. I also paid the next following four years most of the stuff as I did before, but it, I was also a student in a four-year bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. okay. However, when I talked to her yesterday and told her I would like us to split 50-50, she wasn't mad but shocked that I suggested that. Because I have way more money than her in my bank account. I was uh, always super greedy and never spent money before being with her six years ago. She disagreed initially and made me mad because I feel like even if she is an immigrant, paying for almost everything for six years is quite generous on my end. Uh, P.S. I know she's not a gold digger. I think it's more about cultural differences, but am I wrong to think that I have been more than generous? Also, please don't suggest stuff like dump her or she should break up with you. We are far from that point and I still love her very much. Edit. Lol. Reacts people. I just said immigrant to point out she has different circumstances and couldn't find work easily when she arrived. I didn't mean it in a bad way. Additional info. Basically, I plan to go to Korea this summer to immigrate there. It's right. 
in my opinion. Yeah, I don't know why people are upset about this. But see, this this goes into the bigger conversation that's happening right now with like hypergamy and marrying a guy that's gonna be a provider. We are not gonna, you're not gonna like us if you're from that team because me, I don't like that culture. I'm not, I don't wanna owe you anything, sir. No. Also, that makes no sense to me. Like, I don't, we are both paying stuff. When like, she wasn't working, paying. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if she starts working, I'm not saying to pay 50 50 because he said he has more money, but at least balance out to, certain yeah. of the stuff. 80 20 is not possible. Why are you paying for everything? No, like the rent, the food, the, the shopping, your shopping, you're paying for my shopping? No. Like, no. <laughs> I don't no. know how people see this, but I feel like a lot of them are like, oh yeah, a man should be a provider, da da da. But they never really talk about what the woman has to do in return. Like, I can understand if you want to be a homemaker and you're going to be doing the home, you're yeah, going to be cooking, you. cleaning, yeah. doing you. everything. Yeah, there is a balance, right? Because you're a stay at home mom or whatever. But if we're gonna do, especially the, in this day and age, like we still do a lot in the house, but the man can help and everything. Mm. But you also want him to pay for everything. He's I'm not like, the at asshole. The, at, no, at the end of the day, like it all, it's all about equal. Like to me, equality. Balance. You have to balance the whole thing. If if you do that much, then I have to do that much in another way or in the same like yeah. monetary, financially, whatever. Yeah, I have to be at the same level as you yeah. i cannot be here when you're here like what the, nah. now there is one thing she's korean right yeah and still is here is still quite prevalent i think do you think when people are married here it's still now when they're married from what because i watch a lot of like uh, korean like talk shows you yeah, know yeah, where yeah. they have like all these people discussing like married life and it seems to me like of course there is like a younger generation who's like no i'm gonna do this blah, blah, blah. but there is still a whole large cut of the population who are like when i get married i have to learn how to cook i have to do this blah, blah, blah. and my husband goes to work and once we have kids i stay with the kids at least when they're babies and i'm a stay-at-home mom so maybe she might have grown up with that mindset yeah, but she doesn't have kids now but we don't know we don't they didn't say those things i mean obviously we yeah. think they don't because they just they're dating but i she might also be doing things at home she might be doing she he didn't say all that stuff yeah, right no, he that. didn't say what she's doing at home she didn't he didn't say if she's cooking or cleaning so she's doing all those things, huh? You need to say that. So maybe we then, don't have the information, but from what he said, yeah. Well, if if we're doing fifty percent of the chores, then we're doing fifty percent of the bills, or we're doing each of us a percentage of what we're earning, which I think is fair. The the first comment, you are the asshole. If you earn seventy percent, pay seventy percent. No, that makes sense. Either like if she's if their money like if you put their money together and she's earning thirty percent of the overall like income and he's earning seventy percent, then the expenses should be the same. No, I don't understand. To me, it's, that's what we said. If if you pay seventy percent, I'm just working at home. I'm I'm doing the work home. Yeah, yeah and then like she that. can pay for like certain groceries yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like shit, she knows she uses in the house. But if if we have the same amount, we're making the, roughly the same amount, we do 50-50. If mm. you earn way more, you also pay your share. Mm. I don't know what to, He didn't say everything. Yeah, I, I think, think yeah, he I think some information was, kept was, some yeah. of the info tucked uh, in. A lot of people said, first of all, she abandoned her country for you. She's coming all the way here. She's struggling over there to find another. You should pay. Uh, yeah, I get it. But when she starts working, that, I think yeah, she should for also... For the first two years, she should... I understand. You did the right thing. If... But then they're sharing the chores yeah. condition right here. I like this. <laughs> yeah, and I learned one thing. Y'all are insane. <sighs> a lot of you people are crazy. The the wedding stuff for me the, that the was craziest. A not the wedding about the the Chinese uh, the other the, one the half Korean the that book. has to ah, yo you you crazy. I'm not going. Crazy. I'm not going. You you lost one invite. Go find somebody else. I don't care. Insane. Uh uh. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, that was a fun one. If you want us to do another one of those, let us know. There's a lot. There's a lot of content. And I like this. <laughs> uh, let us know who you think is the asshole in the comment, in your opinion. Drop a like. Drop a like. Subscribe here. And, you know, the ding, ding, ding eh? for next videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.